Madagascar, a film series about four animals who escape New York's Central Park Zoo, end up shipped to Africa, fall off the ship they were on, end up stranded on the titular island, and have to find their way back to America. Though they had a rocky start in 2005, they became one of DreamWorks' signature franchises. But unlike Kung Fu Panda, How to Train Your Dragon, and... Trolls, they were still in the era of copying what Disney were doing, as the first movie was similar to The Wild. But come on, who here remembers Disney's The Wild? Something that this franchise does have in common with DreamWorks' modern IPs is that it made successful spin-off material. The Penguins of Madagascar, All Hail King Julian, and the subject of today's review, which takes the movie's main cast and makes them children. Yep, we're back on this subject. What up, snitches? I'm the Animaniac, and this is Madagascar A Little Wild. Before I get into this, I noticed a good chunk of you who watch my videos aren't subscribed to the channel. So if you guys really enjoy these videos and want to be the first to know when a new one will be up, be sure to ring that bell after you subscribe. My next goal is 500 subscribers, and only you can help me get there. And if you'd like to see my future reviews early, subscribe to me on Rumble. Link is in the description and pinned comment below. Developed by Dana Starfield and premiered on Hulu and Peacock in 2020, at the time of writing this, they're in their seventh season. As mentioned earlier, Alex, Marty, Gloria, and Melman are children for the show. They live together in a single habitat with two chimpanzees as well. In every episode, they leave the zoo to go to the city for some reason or other. Something else I forgot to mention about this show is that it's a prequel to the first movie. So I'll be comparing how these characters are against their movie counterparts. Alex is a fame-obsessed lion performing for the guests who visit the zoo. So his personality hasn't changed from his movie counterpart. Always nice to know. Amadi is the one who loves structure, order, returning items from the lost and found to their rightful owner, and aspires to be a ranger horse. A contrast to the Marty who was clumsy and desired to leave Central Park and venture into the wild, an event that kicked off their adventures in the movies. Maybe as he grew up he realized that he would never become a ranger horse and tried to be content with his situation. Melman is the not-so-confident kid in the group. There was maybe a trace of the original Melman with his health problems, with him sneezing from smelling flowers. This version does have a fascination with truck sirens. Gloria here is... nice. She's supportive of her friends and likes to dance. She once had an episode about wanting to join a ballet troupe, and that's what I can remember from what I saw of her. I can't recall her having any sass like how she had in the movies. Not only were there changes to the characters we knew, there were also some new ones. Antony is a pigeon who roams the city to find food or things that are happening that the main four might be interested in. He does some wacky stuff, but I'm indifferent to how it is approached. Dave and Pickles are the stand-in for the two chimp characters from the movies and the penguins of Madagascar. The difference here is that one of them is a girl and the silent one is deaf and they both communicate through sign language, though Pickles is the one among them who talks. They share a habitat with the main four and are in charge of operating the secret passageway into New York City, which they make the main four pay a toll for. Kate is the main four's caretaker who doesn't have much presence in the show. She doesn't even notice they escape the zoo on a daily basis. Do the guests point this out to her? I guess not, since it's never brought up. As a result, she's forgettable. The characters here that are known in the franchise have remained mostly intact. The new ones aren't very interesting, making them not very good additions to the Madagascar universe. I have watched three seasons of this show before sitting down to write this review. I figured I wouldn't be missing a lot this way, as it seems like the kind of show where there won't be any major developments or big storylines. Based on what I've seen, here's how an episode would play out. The kids would either have a problem they want to solve, or they'd hear about something totally exciting from either Antony, Kate, or the zoo attendees and want to go do that. In order to get into New York City, they have to give something to Pickles and Dave to get access to a passageway out of the zoo. In season two, what they want is revealed in the cold opening when they partake in a heist. Shenanigans ensue, complicating things until they feel like they can't reach their goal. Also, while there, there's an old couple who just do stuff I guess is supposed to be funny. Their bits aren't. There comes a point where they feel like they failed at their goal, but it somehow gets solved in a way they didn't expect. Like in one episode, they went to a bakery to get cupcakes for Kate, but her dad ends up getting some for her. 
and Melman presented her with his hoof print he was hesitant to give to her at the beginning of the episode. It's pretty simple, the show is targeted towards little kids after all, and considering its intended demo, it also isn't very funny. You want to know what else this show is? A musical. Yep, this show features songs sung by the characters, and almost all of them have good singing voices. Good morning, let's wake up, we've got things to do. We're gonna floss bangs and shine hooves, fluff a mane or two, so... I got everything I've ever dreamed, feel like a star on a movie screen. My head in the clouds and my feet on the ground. What they sing about is the obvious, being yourself, having confidence, learning from your mistakes, and going on adventures. They're listenable, but I'm not going to seek them out again. To finish this video off, I'll talk about the animation. CGI in animated television has come a long way. The city may have a lot of grey and is very underpopulated, but places like Central Park, the zoo, and Coney Island have their vibrant spots. The character models look good. Gloria's skin has what appears to be the appropriate texture, and the rest of the main four have noticeable fur and feathers on them. A Little Wild is pretty, harmless, inoffensive, but a forgettable entry in the Madagascar media franchise. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment your own thoughts on the show or on the franchise in general. If you guys want to stay updated on future videos, be sure to follow me on Getter, Facebook, Tumblr, and DeviantArt. The links are in the description. And if you want to be the first to know when a new video will be up, ring that bell after you subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.